What's up guys? Welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today, Moser and Brad are here. I don't know if they're coming in the camera or not, but today we have Moser's Fiesta ST. It's not a fuckus, or it's not even ST. It's his Fiesta, not a fuckus. And if you're one of the two or three people that bought one of these and want to put Fiesta ST mud flaps on, you came to the right video because we have ST mud flaps from Rally Armor. And we're going to install it onto a non-ST. So, uh, yeah. After he does this, then he's gonna need the SVT wheels and stuff, right? Because yeah. it's not gonna look right with these things. No. You, need, you need nice wheels. Well, those are supposed to be the winter wheels. That's yeah. why they got snow tires. I just have never bought other wheels. And actually, I think this Fiesta is rarer than the ST. Is it? The model that you have? I see the hatch a lot, but I don't see... But the, this is an EcoBoost, Eco non-ST. Oh, no, 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 this is the hatch. It's a yeah, one liter, three cylinder turbo. That makes 140, 150? If you factor, it was like 140 something. Yeah, yeah. and it, it's it it's right. this much slower, like a pubic hair amount slower than the IS300, and it makes me feel sad inside because it's a three cylinder. So it's actually kind of impressive. It's no ST, but it's still nice. So we're going to get these rally armor for an ST installed on a non ST. First thing we're going to do is pop off these two clips right here. Uh, they require a flathead, but 98% of the time they're stripped anyway. Whoever invented these kind of clips, there's a special place in hell for you. And you don't have to remove this one, but we're going to remove this one just to give us a little bit more play. Move this here out of the way. And now we are pretty much done, and it's almost installed. We're gonna clean the surface here. What else does it have? Everything, it's Brad's car. New front brakes. Um, All right, we're gonna put this little foamy so guy the, on. the heater, or the, the paper towels go on the heater to keep it warm for your butt, right? All right, and you're gonna use one of the poly clips, they call it in the instructions. Back here behind. On that guy. Then, because this is popped out, which it doesn't feel like it is on this side, you get a little extra room there and we'll tuck all this behind. Like that. So that foam goes in behind. And then you can put that one back in up here because we're done with it. And then you take one of these that has the screw in it, remove the screw. And that's gonna go right there. And then this bracket gets a uh, short screw, goes in there. And, out. and then on the other side, we tightened it down, but you can leave it just a little bit till you figure out exactly where it is. The other one, I think, went downward just a little bit to get it to fit properly. Most important part of every garage event is Jim Beam. Yeah. Chaser or no chaser? Chaser with Jim Beam. Oh. <laughs> so you use the bottom screw down here with a washer to get the bracket in place. It's just loose right now. But we're going to use this plastic guy that's going to fit over here. And we're going to mark these holes and drill them for the push pins. Oh, we got a note. Um, there is a bottom like, splash guard, they call it, for the ST package. So this would mate up with the bottom plastic piece, but we don't have that because it's not an ST. So it doesn't look too bad. I guess you'll let us know in the comments, mm -hmm. but it doesn't look that bad. You really won't notice it. Like the average person wouldn't notice it. Um, but we haven't looked, but I'm sure these little guys down here are probably way more expensive than they should be, but they're probably not that much. Now we're gonna use a universal bit to drill quarter inch hole right here for clips. Okay. This is so much easier. Oh yeah. So take cutoff wheel 
and then a carbide die grinder, which one would win? Would the die grinder destroy the cutoff wheel? Fucking both full throttle. <laughs> you touch them together. Touch them together. Will the die grinder destroy the cutoff wheel? Or will the cutoff wheel cut through the die grinder? They're probably both just like disintegrate as they meet. Yeah. Which one would win? They'll rip out of your hand. And like if you if you fucking yeah, touch gonna, both. They're gonna lose fingers. <laughs> well, you, bullet, like, no one you, would you win. need like you, you need like bulletproof lose. glass, like if, if you think about it, like you fucking go until one of them stops cutting, which one will stop cutting first or disintegrate first? With a carbide bit? wear out equally and the die yeah, grinder is gonna, or no, the uh, cutoff wheel is gonna wear out first. You think yeah. the cutoff wheel? Fly apart. Yeah. Yep. It's gonna fly apart. I was thinking the cutoff wheel might cut through the die grinder. I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Grinding, I feel like, is typically harder than we need to, we need to set that up in like a controlled environment with yeah. two vices like on sleds that would you could just battle force you, yeah you yeah. Could just force them together battle yeah. just build robots to do it battle bots mark we need your opinion oh so you take a four inch air powered cutoff wheel like a cutoff disc and an air powered die grinder and you take them for a battle to the death will the carbide bit disintegrate the cutoff wheel or will the cutoff wheel cut through the die grinder? What will, what will happen is the wheel will shatter. Yeah? Yeah. That's what we figured, the wheel would fly apart. Yeah. Yep. Moser and Brad for the win. It, it's not that the abrasive couldn't cut through the carbide, it has to be like a controlled cut, and since it's going to be erratic, it's going to fracture the wheel. Yeah, yeah. You think of it as like, <clears throat> if the wheel was still, it would cut through it. But since it's spinning, it would essentially shave it down and make it smaller. I think we need a bulletproof glass. I think you guys need to finish up this fucking mud puppet that's all you've been doing since like 11 o'clock. We haven't even finished the whole We didn't get here. We didn't get here until 2.30. Yeah, probably because you're all fucking circles jerking each other all over. <laughs> 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 this is hey, not me. We, we had to bullshit factor. for an hour before we started, okay? They have to develop a game plan. <laughs>
Yeah, so S or like ES? S A. S. S A. This is the ass clips. They don't really fit that well, but the bottom one's supposed to go up from the. Just spit on the harder. No. She told me that it wouldn't fit. And this one goes straight. <laughs> up. It went right in, yeah. like a glove. She needed a couple of stitches, but it still went in. We had to move this bracket down. This opening is supposed to hook in right here where there's another one of those little kicker splash panel. guards. Yeah, like a little kicker panel. It's not here. And this whole bumper is actually different because there's actually a piece of foam that's supposed to go right here. There's supposed to be another face uh, on this bumper, but it doesn't have it. So we figured out that the holes that are already here, we could move this whole bracket. Oh, I have the wrong way. We could move this whole bracket up to hide this hole from being exposed below the bumper. <laughs> Now, this is still a little bit below the hole, but because it's farther inside, you really, it's, we're looking at it on the left straight on and you can't see it, so. We, we moved figured, it down, we moved the bracket down an inch and a half. Yeah, the whole three, thing, the whole thing's fingers. been moved down. Oh, there's another, I need another, uh, another bolt there. But you can see how much it's been moved down. And it works perfect. Perfect. <laughs> this is full assembly. Uh, large. Spacer goes on the bottom, small spacer goes on the top, and we, we added this little pad here. There was a couple of foam spacers, um, which we didn't get far enough in the instructions to figure out where they're supposed to go. So we just put one there. It seemed like a good idea, and it worked on the other side. Maybe you didn't, yeah. but someone might have read the instructions and figured out that that was where the fuck it goes, Brad. Well, this well, isn't for an ST, so we don't need the instructions. Well, I mean, you're not, not wrong, but I read I the mean, instructions. This is for the ST, but this isn't an ST. So to make it fit, you got to drop that bracket about a half an inch, and you're only using two of the three bolt holes. It was an inch and a half. What did I say? Half an inch. Okay. Yeah, so to make this work on the non-ST, you just got to drop that bracket an inch and a half, um, both of those holes, and then uh, you're only going to use two of the three bolts that hold that on, right? We're only using two? Two, not three? Yeah, because yep. this hole that we were trying to hide that we got up above, we got it up above. So the, the bumper is about here yeah. as it comes in. So this is now out of sight from behind. Yep. So, but they're so close together now, they were really far apart, or they were farther apart. Now they're half the distance away from each other. So there's no sense in adding another one here when you have one right here. It, it's fine. Once you get everything tightened down, you don't need anything else. Oh, those are tight really quick. Now, you know, if I would have known you wanted mud flaps, then I could yeah. It's not. Does, does, does anybody here get... It hasn't taken up the slack all the way yet. I think you're just being a total fucking vagina, dude. Yeah, I must have had a bad angle. I was trying, I was oh, trying so to... That, that was it. It was a bad angle. I was trying to see... <laughs> it had nothing to do with being a glorified I didn't want fucking over, pussy. I didn't want to over-torch it. That was a bad angle, guys. It's a big deal. <laughs> fucking screwdriver. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you for being funny. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I hate myself more than I did before. <laughs> That's my goal in life. Alright, there we go. So you can indeed put Rally Armor Fiesta ST mud flaps on a non-ST Fiesta. Um, we did it. This is just an SE EcoBoost car. The front is pretty much exactly the same as the instructions tell you. The rears are a little bit different, but if you just lower the bracket like what we did, you shouldn't have a problem. And now the car looks a whole lot better. Still not as aggressive as the ST, but it's still a lot better. Now we need some SVT wheels on here. I know it'll be looking fine. So. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.